All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Thin Layer Chromatography Lab. This is one technique we can use to analyze organic evidence. And if you remember, organic evidence is any evidence that essentially contains carbon and hydrogen bound together in some form or another. Now you'll notice we have three samples today. We have a crime scene sample, a suspect one, and a suspect two sample. Uh, each sample contains a lipstick stained napkin, one taken from the crime scene, the other two taken from our two main suspects in the murder. Now, you'll notice for each different piece of evidence, we have different sets of equipment to use. Storing rods, scissors, and forceps. These are so we can handle the evidence properly without any cross-contamination. Uh, it's very easy to cross-contaminate our lipstick samples and that will throw off our results and we won't get good results or get a good comparison done from our data. So the first thing we need to do is actually record the color of our lipstick stains. So once again, taking the proper forceps, I'm just going to open up our evidence. And you see for our crime scene sample, it's a very bright red color. Pick up our second forceps. Let's open up our second sample. For our suspect one, also a very bright red color. And then finally, our suspect two, uh, more of a kind of a maroon or, or um, almost a purple color for this one. Now, just because our suspect one is very similar to our crime scene in visual appearance does not mean they have the same chemical makeup. So that's why we're doing the chromatography lab to begin with is to make sure that the chemical makeup of the lipstick samples is the same. We're going to be hopefully seeing that or not depending on the type of the lipstick later on as we do the chromatography experiment. Now after we visually inspect our different colored samples. We want, remember, we want to make sure we record the colors on our data table. Uh, then we're going to take a one centimeter square piece of the stain and place it into our test tubes. Now we're going to do this very carefully. Uh, I'm pretty sure you guys know how to use scissors though, so we will pause the video for now and pick back up once we have our samples in the test tubes.